हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन दी न्यूमेरिकल एनालिसिस टुडे वी विल डिस्क्राइब अबाउट द कंसेप्ट ऑफ ऑर्डर ऑफ कन्वर्जेंस दैट इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट कंसेप्ट इन दी न्यूमेरिकल एनालिसिस माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर हरीश कर यू कैन सिंपली फॉलो माय यूट्यूब चैनल द नेम इज डॉक्टर हरीश कर वेयर यू कैन फाइंड द वेरियस लेक्चर्स ऑन दिस न्यूमेरिकल एनालिसिस सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद दिस वीडियो सो वी ऑल नोस वेन यू आर वर्किंग ऑन एनी ऑफ द इक्वेटिव मैथड्स विच ऑलवेज गिव यू द अप्रोक्सीमेट सोल्यूशन नॉट द एग्जैक्ट सोल्यूशन and in this approximate in this iterative method or called as the approximate method we always generate the sequences and that sequences will give you the approximate the root or the solution of the math up to the desired accuracy like you can generate the sequence x1 up to xn and it will give you approximate root to the exact solution then the question arises is what is the meaning of that once they are not exact they are only for the approximate root then how accurate these methods are there first question and how accurately or how what is the speed of the convergence to this exact root does it take a fraction of second does it take a linear convergent or others so in order to describe these two concepts we need the pair of order of convergence so what is the meaning of that if you have the sequence of the real number that convergence to the alpha what is that alpha is say you have the sequence 1 over n how you find the alpha that is alpha is nothing but limit as n approaches infinity of xn so in that case this alpha is my zero fine so like if you find the sequence 1 over 1 x2 is my 1 over 2 x3 is my 1 over 3 and so on all are convergent up to the nth term is my here so it is convergence to the zero that is my here then the question arises is how fast these convergence this number converges to the alpha for example if i say i have the another sequence which converges to the alpha like if i have the sequence 1 over n if i consider another sequence 1 over n square you can see both the sequences converges to the zero but how fast the sequence will converge to the zero so that means we need to apply the concept of this order of convergence to measure how fast the sequence is converges to the desired root we need the concept of order of convergence so before we start with the order of convergence let's firstly define the error what is the meaning of the error is if you have the term like xn again i can come back on the same example then if i consider the x7 we know this sequence converges to zero what is x7 is 1 over 7 which is not exactly zero which is approximately way zero so what is the meaning of the approximately zero it means this one what is that this is nothing but my error fine so we can define the error of the nth term and the error about the n plus 1th term based on this error term we can define the convergence order of the convergence definition if you have the sequence of the real numbers which converges to the alpha then there if there exists a if there exists a real number p and a constant c such that this condition hold or i can substitute the value of the epsilon and here we can see this condition hold or you can see from here i can say which is proportional to this then this p is called as the order of convergence and this c is called as error term it is also called as asymptotically error term which is also called as asymptotically error term why we call as asymptotically error term you can see the value of the c is obtained as n approaches infinity fine now if p is equal to 1 if this p is my 1 it means my error term will be like of this Fine as limit n approaches infinity, it comes to be constant, and this c is my less than one. Then we can say the convergence is linear, and this c is called as the rate of convergence. On the other hand, if this c if p is my greater than one, we call as a super linear, and if p is equal to two, then the convergence is called as quadratic. Fine, but what is the geometrically significance of this order of convergence p? Suppose you have Uh, what is the order of the convergence order of convergence is always for any method for any method 
so if i say a method x if i say x is my method this method has the order of convergence p so we say the method converges to with order p it means if we generate the sequence x1 x2 and xp x and then so on this has the order p means each sequence has the order of convergence like xn plus 1 over this is greater than or equal to p and at least one of the sequence from this x of corresponding to this method has exactly one has exactly p order of convergence so if i say xk this is my kth sequence so the error corresponding to this has exactly p rate of convergence or order of convergence what is that uh, as p is large then the method converges faster fine and what is the rate of convergence implies how faster the method will converge so we always prefer the p to be the larger value of p is the larger value p is the larger value for which this term for which this term is my fine for example here so firstly we we can see at which point this sequence will converge so as we see what is the sequence of this so can you find the limit of this where k is my fixed number so what is the meaning of the fixed number is you can take k as a 2 you may take k as a 4 you may take k as a 7 you may take as a 100 and so on so what is the limit of this it goes to the zero it means alpha is my zero so 1 over n raised to power k sequence will converge to zero then we will find the order of convergence and the rate of convergence so alpha is my zero i can substitute this value of alpha here then i can find the value of the x n plus 1 from this substitute this value at here i can write this value as of this form x n plus 1 k of n of k p and i can take k as a common which comes to be here then what is the limit of this so i can take the case what is the value when p is equal to 1 when p is equal to 1 then limit will be n over n plus 1 k so what is the limit as n approaches infinity it is 1 so this answer is a finite when p is equal to 2 so this will be n square over n plus 1 of k so clearly say this is my infinity by infinity form so if you solve them it will goes to the infinity similarly when p is equal to 3 again it goes to the infinity so we can say whenever p is equal to 1 it's a 1 otherwise infinity so what is the largest value of the p what is the largest value of the p for which this term this term will give you a finite answer D does any value p exist yes p is equal to 1 so we can say we get the convergence only when p is equal to 1 otherwise not hence this sequence converges linearly to 0 why 0 because the rate is my uh, the limit is my 0 why linear because p is only my 1 look at the another example so firstly we will check about its alpha as n approaches infinity so what is the limit of this it's a 1 over 10 raised to power 2 of n so what is that it is 1 over 10 raised to power infinity which goes to the zero so it means this sequence also converges to the zero then i can substitute the value of alpha here then we can substitute this we can found the value of this so let's see firstly p is equal to 1 what is the meaning of this p is equal to 1 so this limit will be 2 into 2 raised to power n divided by 10 raised to power minus of 2n so if i take this in the numerator side 2 raised to power n so this comes to be 2 raised to power n so as n approaches infinity this goes to the zero which is my finite number fine so if i say it's a zero when p is equal to 1 now i consider p is equal to 2 this numerator part becomes my 2 into 2 raised to power n denominator part becomes my minus 2 into 2 raised to power n which is my 1 which is also a finite number so when p is equal to 2 it is my finite number what will happen if p is equal to 3 
the numerator part becomes my 10 raised to power 2 into 2 raised to power n denominator part will be minus 3 into 10 raised to power n so this comes to be it is 1 into 2 raised to power n which goes to the infinity which is not a finite so it means it goes to the infinity whenever p is my greater than 2 so what is the largest possible value of the p which convergent is a finite that is my 2 so we can see when p is equal to 2 is the largest possible value we get the convergence hence this sequence converges quadratically to the 0 fine so what is that if if i simply ask you some tips if you consider the one sequence and raised to power k if you consider another sequence like 2 raised here as we describe these two examples both these sequences converges to their 0 but which one is the faster convergence you can see it has a quadratic convergent because p is equal to 2 it has a linear convergent so definitely this sequence will converges faster than of this sequence because the order of the convergence is greater than of the order of convergence of this look at one more example consider that two sequence a and b then describe the order of the convergence so clearly say this is my nth term of the sequence as n approaches infinity it converges to the 5 for this case this is my nth term of the sequence again it converges to the 5 so both the sequences converges to the 5 then we will look about that which one converges faster so how you can do that i can found the order of convergence of this the value of p for this case and i can found the value of the p for this case if i consider this is my p2 this is my p1 if p1 is equal to p2 it means both the sequences converges at the same time if p1 is greater than p2 that means the sequence a converges faster than of the sequence b and vice versa but we clearly say that the sequence b is convergence that the second sequence converges faster than of the first one but the question arises is how we can say as quick as possible so for that we will found the order of we will find the order of the convergence that means we will find the value of the p in both the cases so let's start with the first case so here alpha is my 5 so i can start here this is my x n i can substitute here the value of come to be this case now if i take p is equal to 1 firstly so this expression becomes my 1 over 2 raised to power or i can simply firstly i can simplify this it will be here or i can return like of this then i can take a case when p is equal to 1 this value will be 1 minus 1 0 2 raised to power 0 is my 1 so the answer is my 1 by 2 which is a finite when p is equal to 2 the numerator part will be 2 raised to power n what is the limit as n approaches infinity it goes to the infinite so whenever p is my greater than 1 the answer becomes my infinite which is not be there so what is the largest possible value of the p which convergent is only 1 hence this is my convergent linearly to be 5 so this p1 is my linear that means my 1 we can do the same thing for this second sequence again alpha is my 5 this is my xn i can substitute this value here you will get this expression then we can check about firstly p is equal to 1 what will happen if p is equal to 1 this value becomes i can return this value as in this manner fine so this is 2 raised to power here minus 1 into when p is equal to 1 it is my 2 raised to power n minus 1 so base are same i can return this number as of 2 into 2 raised to power n plus 1 it is cancelled out so it's a minus of 2 raised to power n so what will happen as n approaches infinity it goes to the 0 which is a fine so i can say it's a 0 when p is equal to 1 so what will happen when you take p is equal to 2 so this expression becomes my 2 raised to power 2 into 2 raised to power n minus 1 into 2 raised to power 2n minus 1 of twice so if i simplify this it becomes my 2 raised to power minus 2 plus 1 it comes to be 1 over 
2 which is again a finite number fine when i take p is equal to 3 so what will happen it becomes my 2 raised to power 2 into 2 raised to power n minus 1 into 2 raised to power 3 times 2 raised to power n minus 1 so if you simplify them it will be my 2 raised to power 2n minus 2 2 raised to power 2n fine so what is the answer of this when you take as n approaches infinity so clearly says that will goes to the infinite when p is my greater than or equal to 2 or p is my greater than 2 then it is my infinite so what is that the largest possible value is my 2 so we can say p is this is for the p is equal to 2 p is equal to 1 is my what is that p is equal to 1 is my 0 which is also finite so the largest possible value is my 2 so it means this sequence converges quadratically so this is has a order of convergence 2 this has order of convergence 1 since this sequence has the order of convergence larger than of the first one so we can say the second sequence converges faster than of the first one so this is the way you can define the sequences convergence so say one exercise for you if you say the sequence x n is given to you as a 1 over n the sequence y n is convergence is a sequence is my 1 by n square then let me know which one is convergence faster so you can tell me your answer in the comment box either x sequence or the y sequence converges first so i hope you can simply remember the concepts about this order of the convergence in the next lecture we will see the concept of the or, uh, conditional number and its uh, examples till then you can simply like share and comment on my videos best of luck students happy learning always